What up, YouTube? I am your host, Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews, back in here with one more video. Shout out to my Instagram, at Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. It's long, but you know how to spell. If you don't, link down in the description box down below. Go check me out. Start uploading a lot more to it, all right? This video comes from World Star Hip Hop, <laughs> the Hood Booger Encyclopedia. Title of the video, that's an accomplishment. 70% of black women will never be married. 29-year-old 20 divorced twice wants to get married. Damn, for a third time? Gets put on blast. Damn, divorced twice at 29? What? I have not. <laughs> so I read the title. I have not seen the video. Let's just get active all right without further ado all right what's on your mind all right well a couple things for one age does matter as a woman no doubt however sure. you're kind of making a mountain out of a molehill as far as what that means for her being able to get a husband definitely okay. you're blowing your way out of proportion well let me find and let me find out that, here let me find out here how old are you kitty i'm 29 Okay, then, Kitty, how in the world can you speak for that? You're only 29. You don't have enough experience to speak on this. Well, for one, I've been married twice um, to okay, two black that, men. That, I've actually been married. That tells I've been us married, a lot. I've been married to two black men who were engineers. Okay. And I so, kind of so you've had have two, experienced the gambit. So you've had two failed marriages at 29. Absolutely, yes. At 20, yes, you, I have. You struck out twice at 29. Absolutely. Yes, I have. Wow. And right. that is a huge accomplishment considering the fact that most black women, what is it, 70% will never be married ever in their lifetime. So I accomplished and failed twice at something that most black women will never do. Is it an accomplishment? That, if you Hold up. Married and divorced is not an accomplishment. M married and then divorce is not an accomplishment okay it, it was a temporary accomplishment but then ended in failure that's what a divorce is if you end up divorcing your marriage has failed that it ends in a failure if you want to take the logic the being selected twice is an accomplishment it's a finite accomplishment from a time perspective all right, because then you failed twice. Now you are 29 years old and now you have the baggage of two divorces. I don't even know if she has children or what else it is that she's bringing in. But this goes back into the delusion of what I've been talking about on my channel. This is pure delusion. In order to call it an accomplishment, it's, it's not an accomplishment, right, that you were in a failed marriage. Are you saying it's, like, it's an accomplishment that you were selected? twice is that what you're saying here's the thing as well um oftentimes i think that the ones that have the most problem with men talking about these things if i was to take a guess i would say that this creator apparently he's on youtube the business broadcast um he was talking about something that that triggers them because it impacts their life and oftentimes when i look down into the comment section those are the ones because if it don't apply let it fly but when she's listening to him, she's looking at her past and maybe it's she has a problem because she views it as accomplishments when really it's not. You're still in a statistic on the sheet that I read that when it talks about the marriage and the divorce rate. You understand? But let's go on. Let's see the reaction to that. If you got divorced, if you got divorced, is that really an accomplishment? Absolutely. 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 Because Delusion. you know why? Because when you what value, for example, if you value, it's no if standard. You value entrepreneurship, you're probably going to fail five, six, ten. You might even fail 20 times. Right. But if you value being an entrepreneur, it doesn't matter how time. Okay, how many but he Oh my God. Um, if yeah, but listen, if I if I start up a business and I fail at that business, that was a failed business. I'm gonna call it a failed business. Not that it was a success, <laughs> a, su a successful business, because that would be 
lying. That is me lying to myself, feeding myself delusion and living in my delusion-free world. Oh, I'm such a successful business person when I got all these failed businesses. No, D divorce twice by 29 means that you are a marriage failure. That is a marriage. You are a marriage failure. Here's what I want to know. Did you sign the papers for the divorce? Was it you that instigated or initiated that divorce? Hopefully they get into it. Hold on, let's keep going. It's, there's so much to here's comment on. Here's the problem, I Kitty. Feel, but Kitty, here's matter. the problem. It doesn't matter. Kitty, you're not it a success until you get to 21. Kitty, you are, if you fail at, a, at starting a business three, four, five times, you're not a success until you get to the sixth one. So those previous, exactly. those you're previous, not, you're, exactly, okay, you're Kitty, right. and Kitty, and I value, Kitty, and I value I'm hosting my program. Marriage. Kitty, I'm hosting my program. Let's not do that. You got some real I'm sorry, bad. I can't hear you. There might be a lag. Man, you can hear me just fine. I can hear myself on blog talk. You hear me just fine. Let's not do that. No, I'm saying there might be a okay, lag on dear, my phone. Okay, bad. I, I, I've listened to it on the phone when you all call in. I listened to it before you all get on the line. Okay. It works just fine. Let's not do that. Yeah, it don't That's sound a like a lag. That's a real bad look for you. At 29, I can see why certain things have occurred. Let's not do that. Let's, let's do it better. And, and let me also go in because um, the, the analogy of a business is really inherently different than the analogy of starting a family to a degree. And oftentimes on the channel, I talk about marriage being you have to look at that as a business. Bump the love shit. Do you want to be business partners with this other asshole for the entirety or the perpetuity of your life? But when you talk about a business that failed, like it could have been a success for a finite period of time. You could have been making money hands over fist, but then after a while, the market became oversaturated, the business just dried up and, and whatever it is that you were trying to do. It could have been successful in that period of time, but through whatever macroeconomic factors or even microeconomic factors, you no longer have that business, okay? Right, like it could have been successful for a finite amount of time. Your marriage could have been successful for a finite amount of time, but then it failed. So it don't matter what you did within it. The inevitable, what inevitably happened was a failure. But here's the thing. There's things that you can create in a business that you can take with you into other businesses and other portions of your life. You can't do that in a marriage, right? <laughs> you can't do that in a marriage. So let's keep, let's keep rocking. No, let's no. You don't. Let's you don't not, have to try do to wait from you. I'm the right let's person to call this show. Okay, because let's you don't do have better. anybody intelligent and someone that's confident we don't have, to come Ma'am, you. you you're giving your opinions on your failures at 29. I can keep on going about the points, and I can deconstruct your argument. Okay. And oh God. Yeah. You cannot talk over the host. Facts. That's what you can't do. You cannot do that. He's pissed. And you look yes, real. Sir. You look real raggedy to be 29 and behaving like you're 59. That's not a good look. I'm just trying to bring your attention to the fact that you got a real raggedy look right now. You might want to take a moment to improve it because it looks real bad. You sound 29, and this is exactly the type of bitter attitude that me and the previous caller are referring to. You're 29 demonstrating why you're twice divorced. No man is going to sit I'm there I'm not bitter. I want to get married again. Shoot, dear, I don't run down the aisle. I'm dear, not bitter at all. Okay. I can't wait to get married again. Okay. I, I imagine you can. See, when you're a the woman, problem is when you're you a woman and can get a man to provide and protect Kitty? you, you're not bitter. Kitty? Yeah, there, there's no delay. She called in because she's butthurt. She called in because she wants to argue. I, and this is the type of temperament that... <laughs> like, I see a temperament like this. <laughs> let alone all the baggage that she's pulling in. Here's the thing. What is the type of dude that would take this type of argumentative behavior and two times divorced? I, like, that is a lot of baggage. You have to be, your value as a man is not particularly high when you have the pick of earth. The problem is you're eager to get married, but there are no men eager to marry you. Exactly. No, oh, that hurt. there yes. have been men. No, eager to no, marry man. You said it right. Twice. You admitted and, it right the I've first married, time. I've been married twice. You admitted it right the first time. I've been married twice. You've been divorced twice. Damn right. No, okay, I, thank you. Yep, no, you've I've been. been no, no, no. Well, say it correctly. Divorce, one annulment, say it actually. correctly. One divorce. Say it correctly. You have matter. not been married twice. You have failed at marriage. You have two failed marriages. You're absolutely right. You have yet. You have yet to prove that you can succeed at marriage. Yeah. Well. 
Who knows? It might take okay, we 10 do marriages. Know. We're looking Why at you right you, now. If you're going to be that way, then tell all the entrepreneurs, listen, your second restaurant failed. You're not good enough to be an entrepreneur. Your dreams will never No, ma'am. No, I'm that saying that they cannot. No, you cannot say. say. You cannot claim that you're a successful entrepreneur until you actually succeed. I didn't say I was successful. I didn't say I was successful. Okay, no, I then you cannot you, you cannot talk about about what you're going to do, what you might be able to do in the future. We can only give you credit for what you've actually done. 2021 is the year of the receipts. I've said this multitude of times on live streams and on content previously. Show your receipts. Her rece her receipts show that she is not good at that. <laughs> that is it is not your forte. Maybe third time's the charm, but you got to... Uh, maybe third time's the charm, but the problem is you have to find someone to be able to select that. Okay? Let's keep it moving. Not what you hope you and can I do. And I said what I did. I had two okay. horses. I absolutely we don't said give, that. We don't give entrepreneurs credit for what they hope to do. Not we give them and, credit and, for what and, they and, succeed and at. To have two, and to have two divorces would imply that two men had to choose me out of every woman that they know. They had to stand before me and God and our family and friends, and they had to announce that they wanted to marry me. And how... And this, is, this is what I talk about all, all day. And here's where I think that her mind is at, and I talk about this on the channel. Do they want it for the wedding? Right? Do they want it for just to be chose or do they want it for the rest of their lives? She she puts no value on marriage for the rest of her life. It doesn't there's no there's no concept of well the marriage failed, so that doesn't mean that you are a good select a good selection, but it's but they chose me though. They got on bended knee for me though, and that's the win. That's the success. And the delusion is well, if I was able to do that when I'm young, I'm in my youth, right? But now that I'm getting older, and we all know men value youth, we value femininity, and we value inspiration, that's for sure. She doesn't sound like a very inspiring person. She sounds like a push person that wants to see you up under her thumb at any given moment, just to make sure that she has the power over you, as what's demonstrated in, within this conversation. Very argumentative. Very argumentative. Let's keep let's keep it rocking. Oh, yes, that it, had to do and that how did and how and did that man turn out? Touch, see, they, I didn't get I didn't get left twice. I got divorced. Ma'am, we judge you by ma'am. We judge yeah. you by results. What were the results of those marriages? Yeah. We judge you by results. My relationships were legitimate relationships. Okay, how they did they end? They divorce me. How did if they, they end? To leave. Okay, and how did they end up? Because we only judge results. How did it result out? In in divorce. In thank divorce, you. Okay, because thank unlike you. most black and women, that's if you all wait with that me matters. And you want to leave? And there's going to be paperwork and involved. And that's all that there's matters. There's going to be paperwork involved if you want to leave me. That's all that matters. That's all that exactly. matters. Exactly. Thank you. Your results are all that matter. So you're Receipts. talking about. And furthermore, you don't have marriages. You have show, failed marriages. Age thing, and it also seems like she's wearing the divorce like a badge of honor, as if like absolutely, I got divorced, absolutely. But then seems to relinquish the accountability of what that that means. I mean, listen, as a dude, like let's say that she does meet somebody, right? Let's say and they're kicking it off, they're having a good. And then the topic of their past relationships come up. And she said that she's twice divorced. Like, you failed at that. Listen, as a, even as a business person, if someone wants to get in a partnership with me and I start asking them on their past business ventures, and then the person says, oh, yeah, well, I started this up. And then we ended up, you know, you know, shit went to shit. And, you know, we had a bad business plan. And then, you know, we ended up fighting with our suppliers. And then we ended up getting sued because we were doing some nefarious shit. And then that happened twice. I'm going to be like... Ah, uh, you know what? But I got this other partner over here that, or potential partner that had none of those issues, and they're looking to get into partnership with me because they believe in my vision, my mission, the things that I'm trying to put forth, and they've never had these issues that you have. So why again are you a better selection? Why? Why again? Is extremely dismissive to women. I want all the women in the audience to listen to what this man said. Yes, He's listen, being dismissive to, what, listen to what I have to power. say. What he's saying is okay, Kitty, what he's Kitty, is that Kitty, you don't have any I'm going to try this one last time. Kitty, do not talk over the host again. That's the last off. time I'm going to tell you to not bring ghetto centricity here. Oh. Do not do that. 
You are a I horrible in a hood. I ma'am. In a five you are a horrible, a despicable a example of femininity. My mother has a master's degree, And sir. that matters what? I'm, I'm master, a PhD. Her, I know a lot of hood rats <laughs> with master's degrees. I never, so I never knew in the I never grew up in the hood, and I'm not a hood rat. Ma'am, master. I know. Qualifying yourself by your degrees, you just lost. <laughs> you just you just lost the argument. Here's the thing. In the beginning, she says something like, People who've got, I guess that the show, people just call in and they talk to him. Um, so I guess uh, what he said, what she said was, is I, and earlier, is that I have these degrees and you get people up here that can't come up here and talk through the situation. And it's crazy when they sit in an echo chamber and they think that their their views are not full of delusion. And then you bring them out here on the grand stage and you have to have a civilized conversation or discussion between yourself and the host. And you see them being anything but civilized, this is what it maturates into. All right, let's keep going a little bit more. Plenty of dumb women with master's degrees. So what? Well, my IQ is 140, sir. Ma'am, tested can you, in the fourth grade. I, I never can't see it. I nothing can't that comes out my it. mouth is stupid because I'm not. I can't see yeah, it. Nothing that comes out my mouth is stupid because I'm not. You do you sound a liar. Very, ma'am, you sound reason, very and it will sound You sound very masculine and very unfeminine. Now that's not up for debate. That's a, do you that's have I'm living off of my first husband. You want to know something? Okay, do you, you have marry children? A man, you get a man to invest in you can do things like that. Do you and have you won't look kitty old when you're 35 kitty, years old. Kitty, do you when have look, children? When I turn 40 years old, I'm going to look dumb popping. Yes. Kitty, do you have Kitty, where like are your home. where are your children? Yeah. Where, are your, where children? are your children? I have I don't have children and you as a lawyer, weren't you a lawyer? Why would you ask me a question like okay. that? You have a leading question. Do you You're have assuming ch- I have children? I didn't assume I asked you if you do. You don't listen very well. You but you asked me a question. How many children do you have? You as a lawyer should not ask me a question like that. How many crack rocks do you have, sir? Come on, how does that sound? Who said I <laughs> Oh this lady is insane? He said, Do you have children? He's still trying to fit the profile. All right. That's why the content creators do that when they ask you your name, your, your age, where you're from, things like that. Do you have kids? It's try, it trying to, 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 to put you in a profile to know how to answer questions going into the future. But just to shame him for asking another clarifying question that has to do with exactly what the conversation is about. <laughs> All of a sudden, you shame him into forcing him to stand down his point that he is trying to make. That's not leading a witness. It is asking a question. He didn't say, leading would have said, your children won't have a good childhood because of how you conduct yourself. That's le- that's that's leading, okay? That's leading into to assuming some bullshit, okay? But she don't even want to answer that. But I have children. Okay, Kitty. You're assuming. Kitty, are and you, you and know, Kitty? Are you I and I? One. Okay. Oh, you I have, have one. Wow. Child, so she now. And I had that she child first, before I married okay. any of my husbends. So I got she's a baby. With a child. So she's and a so baby the mama. The they do it too. She, let me turn her mo- sound <laughs> down. She said she didn't have a child, and then she said, "Yes, I have one child." Did I hear that incorrectly? She's a baby mama who got. Claimed she got married twice and got left twice. So first she tried to act like she didn't have any children. Now she's admitting it. And by the way, you hear her attitude. You hear how boorish she is. You hear how loud she is. You hear how belligerent she is. You can very clearly see why at 29, she's got that PTSD where she's angry. She's upset. She's mad. She's belligerent. She's got an attitude. She is bitter as hell. She's bitter. At 29, she doesn't sound soft. She doesn't sound feminine. She sounds like some dudes you got into it at the liquor store. But then again, she's got Ciroc, which means she likes cheap, nasty liquor. But that just tells you that's the type of female she is. The cheap, nasty chicks. This is where they end up at. So she's trying to tell us all that she has an IQ, and if you don't stop lying on my phone, my mama has a master's degree. Okay, that's even if that's were tr- that were true, which is not. But even if it were, it's your mom's degree, not yours. You're, you're, you're supposed to be a grown woman. You're out here in the world attempting to impress other people by bragging on a degree that isn't even yours. That's what happens when you have no accomplishments of your own. You start trying to brag on stuff that other people got. 
I'm living off my first husband. First of all, if you don't quit lying, you are a pathological, chemically induced liar. But even if that were true, these fantasies you're weaving is pathetic because you're not bragging on anything you got. You're bragging on stuff that other people got. Yeah, she's bragging on things that other people got. And when it comes to her, she just denied her child. She, she just denied her child. First, she got pissed that he brought up a child, right? And then she first denied it. <laughs> and then and then admitted to it. And then admitted to it. Wow. Wow. This is bitter mixed with angry, multiplied multiply with crazy. And 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 literally, in this, I'm gonna stop going over the video right now. There's some more left in the world side so hip hop video. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna find his channel on YouTube. I'll link the um the video down in the description box down below so you guys can go up there and check it out um but this is what can happen um if you go down a path being fed ideas that um come from an echo chamber that only pushes yourself up and you don't understand the delusion that you're leading yourself down and you end up getting hurt after hurt after hurt and then you come across a content creator that's talking about the reality and you get pissed at the reality right and this is why I love going over content like this because you can see, number one, she needed a therapist after the first marriage, all right? She didn't talk about her going to therapy, but she needed a therapist back then, probably even before that marriage even started. She needed to be seeing somebody because you can see here the clear boasting of other people's ish around her because she's not happy with herself. She's really, truly not happy with herself. That's why she's not truthful with her having a child. So he didn't do it. I don't know if he was about to go into it, but I can't even imagine the child that's growing up under the foundation. If she has sole custody of someone who's not even willing to be like, oh, yeah, I got a baby. Yeah, the baby is this such and such year old, da, da, da. Because in her mind, maybe even beknownst to herself until she had this interaction with someone who had dissenting views towards her, in her mind subconsciously, she going to be treating that baby like shit. And I hate to say it like that. Okay, guys, listen, um, I'll leave again. I'll leave a link down to this down in the description box down below. This video is going on way too far, too, way too long, but I had to, I had to go through that. I, I didn't know what, <laughs> what I was signing myself up for with this video. That was a crazy call. You understand what I'm saying? Guys, questions, comments, concerns, y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. You already know what it is. We got a Patreon as well. The community is building up there. It's so crazy. They, they're actually in a workshop right now. I'm going to go over there and see what's good. We have a 500 strong right now. You understand me? All right? Until next time, YouTube. Peace!